interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Ho oh, tip, I am that I am, Subcom Haru, your modern monk, your cannabis fitness strategist, back at it again, here with you, here for you, here to challenge you, to crack you upside the head, as my brother would say. I'm here live with my brother Code T. Yes, that's Code C O D E T. That's what we're going to be breaking down today with episode 9D. <laughs> you afraid of change, aren't you? That's what we're going to be talking about. You afraid of change. So we're going to talk about, like I said, your intro to the most, your host, the modern monk with my brother Cole T representing special guests as we go deeper and deeper into the mind and reality of life. Thank you for following. Thank you for your comments, the good, the bad, the ugly, as well as your subscriptions and your follows and your Instagrammies and your Facebookies and your YouTubies and all that fun stuff. And you know how to get me. Y'all know what's up. This is You Are The Gym podcast show. That's You Are The Gym with a U. <laughs> uh, shout out to my sponsor for giving much respect, putting it down, doing his thing, healing people by the day. You feel me? Healing people by the day. Yeah, this is going out to... Dr. Boz Moreno, shout out to you, doing your thing, keeping it real, keeping it positive. If you need some specialty services within your health, your fitness, your your understanding, your mental game, you know what I'm saying? You can always touch bases with Dr. Boz Moreno dot XYZ. Yes, that's Dr. Boz Moreno at XYZ. You can hit him at his email at support at MethodMoreno.com. That's support at MethodMoreno.com. And you can always call them at 404-462-0571. Yes, that's 404-462-0571. And y'all know y'all can always hit a brother up right here live. You can call in live too, 206-659-6382. Shout out to you, those of you who's serious about your fitness, about your health, and want to take your game to the next level. You can always text me at 206-659-6382. You can email me at youarethegym at gmail.com. Y'all know I got a million shirts waiting for y'all. You feel me? You are the gym tees already ready, package ready to go for you. $27. Yes, and I got some masks for you for those of you who's in this pre-COVID technique of we call the cave it or cave it 19 or whatever you want to come in if you want to chime in come on in brother uh we definitely about to take it to the next level so let's drop right into this next episode nine zero at i know you're afraid of change so stop acting like you're fooling somebody and come on and get this money come on get this bread What's good with you, bro? How hey, you doing hey, today? All right, doing well. How you been? How are we you good, been? brother? We good. We just keeping it pushing and keeping it moving. Yeah. You know, and I was just talking to you earlier, and I just asked you, really, um, are you afraid of change? What 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 comes to mind when I say something or ask you something like that? Uh, you know, I mean, me personally, yeah, I'm 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 a little weary of change, but that's just my personality, but. I understand, you know, if you, uh, for me, I, I, you know, you know me, I do a studies and, and a lot of different things. and I, I looked up a lot of stuff and like, if you know, like, okay, there's a change naturally anyway in the air that's happening. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you, you are going to have to change. I realize that it's, I have to like, not really necessarily change, but just readjust my position. Within Key the word right there, readjustment. And that's the thing I think with a lot of us, we really don't take in heed. I mean... It's, it's crazy because one of the things we don't really think about with change is a lot of us that sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? We sacrifice not necessarily looking at it as a sacrifice. And most people don't see it as a sacrifice yeah. because we, we, we go through life. It's kind of funny because some of us go through life without even just realizing what's really going on. See, and that's the key thing, too. I mean, I think when you go through life, you should really realize what you're going through. Because I'm going through a serious change right now and a change that I haven't really, I have experienced it, but I haven't experienced it on this magnitude. 
You know what I'm saying? Especially being so far away from, uh, I guess, the nest. If no. you want to come, even though I have created my own nest within my own psyche, because I'm always like, my home is wherever I'm at, and I'm pointing yeah. at my, my, <laughs> my pineal yeah. gland. Yes, because mm -hmm. that's really where it comes down. And I know a lot of us are afraid to change. A lot of us are afraid to step over these hurdles or readjust, as you mentioned earlier. Yeah, I mean, you have to. It's all. It, I mean, people who who have a problem with change, I feel you, me too, but you have to see the writing on the wall. You have to readjust. If you don't, who knows? But if you readjust, you have a chance. You have an opportunity for something else, you know, different or something else other than what you had before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, everything... If you recognize it. If that's you recognize it. You if you're aware it. of yeah, it. Yeah, if you're aware of it, yes. Yeah, okay, but I mean, it's happening to everybody because the, the change that's happening is something that's... Uh, like universal, you yes, can feel it. Yes, it's yes, not, yes, yes. It's agree, happening to every. It's, it's, it's all over. Agree. It's not has nothing to. It, they're just riding COVID and all that. To me, is just riding upon what is naturally supposed to happen. Yes, yes. They are plant. They're yes. plant. They plant. They put this in play along with the natural thing that's happening. Progression. Yes, yes. Progression or regression is both. They both actions. They're both moving. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? They're both moving, even if it's backwards or forward, whatever the case may be. Yeah. Sideways, whatever. Lateral, however you want to look at it. But the key thing is really taking in the lessons. What are you learning from yes. the experience? You know, and I'm really grasping that. I'm way the fuck away from my home right now. Yeah. You feel me? Uh, right now, my, my reality of what I think is home. My, you know what I'm saying? Literally, and it's kind of... I haven't, you talk about missing stuff. You know how some people just miss stuff? Don't take me wrong. I miss some people, certain yeah. people in my life. You yeah. know, like you're one of them too. Yeah, you know, miss having your energy around to be able to dialogue with my brothers and sisters or whatever yeah. the case may be to kind of, you know, fulfill the voids of what has been missing over the last couple of months or last couple of years. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, we, we definitely, we definitely... I think have to take the steps, have to take the necessary changes or adjustments to be able to move forward. Because I think what a lot of us been doing, and I'm noticing this within the country sphere, or and it may be all around the world. Yeah, that's. It yeah. may be all around the world. Just yep. people, it's like we're we're so comfortable being in the we're so comfortable using MySpace. Instead of upgrading to Facebook or something. You kind of see what I'm saying? Even though it's the other way around. I'm just saying, we're in Facebook now. Yeah. You know, but but genius, look at the, even the term Facebook. I'm just You're saying. facing you. See, I mean, yeah. see, and that's another thing I don't, I don't think we really, well, it's a bunch of things we learn from. And I'm not trying to dominate the conversation. No. I'm just kind of no, no, feeling no, no, no. it today. Because a lot of us are afraid of change. A lot of us yeah. are afraid of different yeah. stuff, there's different a, people, different elements. You know what I'm is. saying? There's a lot of change going on. You know, I help out with this world, element. Worldwide. So all I can say is, like, there's a flow, uh, energy. You have to kind of find it and go with it. See, key, yep. And you're right. The, the you got to find it. You have to vibe up. Whatever it is, got to go catch that energy flow. Learning lesson. There. Yeah, there's a learning lesson and the right there. the great thing about right now is we're at the beginning, so you can see the stages. Come on. Come on. And map it out. And exactly. Navigate. And navigate, yes. Kind of like, here's a good point. Here's something to think about, my, my loved ones. Think about this. Meditation. That's reflection. Yes. That's going on within. And my brother's a martial artist. Right, so you understand that principle all the way. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and that's part. And you can't do meditation without deep breathing. You have to. You feel what I'm saying? It's all part. That's the thing about connecting. They always talk about the one thing, like I was talking about early, like the one thing, or to a, my cousin talking about the one thing. Look, they want you to. You're multiplying. You're being so saturated you know what i'm saying i mean you're literally you've been so saturated <laughs> you're, you're a family man you're a husband your wife you're this you're that you got to play these roles you got to and you got to be these for whatever energy that's actually dictating your time 
Yeah. You kind of see what I'm saying? And then you're also your food and all the oh, other brother. stuff. Oh, brother. Brother. Messed up. Brother. It's saturated too with that. <laughs> brother. So you got all these different elements, uh, you know, against you, holding you back, uh, confusing you, got your mind all yay, yay, yay. Yeah, you're right. You're you right. Because it is. Around. It got us all around. Yay, yay, yay. That's why I think people are tending to do more stupid, ignorant shit and get away with it. Because the society has accepted the bullshit. Because we're when you start seeing people who are serious, like this show, you are the podcast. You, look, you are the gym. You are the podcast. We are the energy. See what I'm saying? Because I want to share my experiences with you guys. You know what I'm saying? And, and stop candy coating shit. You know what I'm saying? Putting all this little, let me let me make it feel good for you around here. No, this shit is no joke out here. Oh, it's Life so is no joke. That's the coldest. And you see it within the weather. Think about it. Fairbanks got to worry about 40 below. What you think them trees is doing up out this motherfucker? You know, they like, what the hell is this? But they got a prayer for it. Yeah, you they feel know, me? They know yeah, exactly. Already, where they're go what's getting ready to happen? They know the change is coming. The seasons. Yeah, the seasons. And we should know this the best. We are. See, that's the crazy thing about us. We know it's gonna be spring. We know the sun it's is gonna, gonna come be, up. Yeah. We know all this stuff is gonna go the way it's gonna go. The thing is, we change. We're the ones who have. We're the ones who are changing. It's nothing else is changing. We're the ones who. We're are, we are evolving. But yep. some cases, some of us are not evolving. Some of us want to stay sheep. Some of us want to stay the, hidden up under the crevices and being living in fear. Being afraid of, oh, they just had a massive shooting in Colorado. You know what? They've been having plenty of mass shootings in Colorado. This is nothing new. You hear me? This is nothing new. The problem is the people don't want to admit it. That's what it is. The people don't want to admit the change. Stop. You got, we got to look. People are, some people are growing so fast. Yeah. I, I the, they, <laughs> they need to understand that if it's, if it's such an issue, those people need to stand up and shut that down in the Colorado. They, yeah, they just got to face it. They yeah, got to face, face it. it. They got to face, gotta the, reality face the reality of it. Because it's like, look, this is, yes, it's happening around the world, right? We're seeing death around the world. That's obvious. But my point is we have to start congregating or building our communities up with more. I think we have to go in a self-sustained mentality. We need to start going back to self-sustainability. You know what I'm saying? Understanding thyself. I knowing mean, thyself. In my <laughs> in my personal thing, I think people need to take more and more of a hand in their government yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, now we yeah, have yeah. to nowadays yeah. because we you have know, to I mean government. I'm not gonna get political. I'm just saying straight up some bullshit went down and it ain't resolved. Yeah. Period. It ain't resolved. It's we okay. Let the it's, same crooks it's it's okay. Dictated. I'm not gonna say we you know, it's just not resolved, period. Okay? I mean some bullshit went down, some shit was said. And it didn't get resolved. But we was, went along with some bullshit anyway. And all I got to say is the, the the new person who's ever in there, <laughs> I don't know about this shit. But I'm just going to say like that. That's it. <laughs> Even with something simple like that. If something like that went down, we all need to take a better hand in knowing what the fuck is going on politically. Just just to keep ourselves we need to take more responsibility. what they're doing. Yeah, because we need to take they're doing something. That's all I'm yeah. saying. And keep up on what they're doing. Always, you know, check in on what the fuck these assholes checks and are balances. Doing. Yeah, because you know they're a bunch of sh they're a bunch of evil motherfuckers. They be doing some foul ass shit to people. But we you know we we saying? love them. We love them. We, we love those people. We, we love them. We love those. We love people. Trump. We, we love just, Biden. We I'm just saying, <laughs> we love those people. We just want some new people to love. We love them enough. We love them people for maybe 30 years plus. It's time for new people to get love yeah. for 30 years plus who do a better job than that. Yeah. That's good it. Good point. Good point. No, that's a good point. Yeah. You know? Because, it see, that's another thing, too. I mean, everybody has an opinion. I have an opinion. Yeah. You can take this opinion. You can leave the opinion. Mm -hmm. This is my avenue as far as sharing what I have available to those of you who's actually tuning in, tuning up, but paying attention. 
and asking these questions. That's why we do this forum. That's why I do the podcasts because I'm always asking the question. If you're not going to say nothing, I'll say it for you. You feel me? And regardless if you want to call this politically correct or whatever the case may be, like I said, you don't have to agree with everything I'm saying. But at the same time, I'm like, you got you better start paying attention to what's going on in your surroundings. Cause all we're doing is building we're all we're doing is building a, a pit, a pit big enough for all of us to sit up in there, nobody to get up to the next level of the height level to really take advantage and i'm not saying one person i'm saying all of us you know and all of us are not equal let me throw that out all of us are not equal so stop saying uh or equal company and this and that no it's not equal here it never has been hence this country hence all the different countries in the world yeah yeah i mean they're (laughs) all there's not been that there's there's been unfortunately a one-sidedness Exactly. In the favor of whoever is the ruling power. Mm-hmm. Okay? That's what it is. The and winners the, write the history. Yeah, exactly. And if the ruling power feels gracious enough to give you some, some love, then that he give you some love. And if it don't, you already know what that is. He, he's just not going to give you love. You indeed, know? indeed. And it's showing more and more. But at the same time, you know where the, the love of the government is showing? They're getting that, they, they giving us these stimulants stimulus but all they're doing is making more debt y'all know that right yeah, yeah. that's all they creating is more debt so we just gonna be in a multi patrillion where you can't even pronounce the money and who are we in debt to see that's the thing they're not saying see they're not telling you that that's another thing i, I wanted to kind of that's what i'm saying are you afraid of change are you afraid to ask certain questions that you know that's actually pinpointing the fuck up thing. You, you know you fucked up, don't you? Right? You know you fucked up, don't you? The common man, the common man, we call ourselves American citizens up in here, but we are not American citizens. Think about this. We're not American citizens. We let some foreigner run our country. Well, we- Think about it. We let foreigners run our country, period. And we talk about all this hoopla, America's the greatest, and all this other fun stuff. But we don't pay it no attention. And he may look like us. Her name may be uh, Kardashian. His name might be uh, Kanye West or Jay-Z. Oh, they're great idols. They're great worshipers (laughs) that we can pinpoint and say they're the greatest. That's what America's about. It's about freedom. Freedom of choice. Freedom of this. Oh, yeah. I got some freedom of choice. I can actually have dialogue with you on this until my my numbers are crazy. When my numbers are outrageous, then they're like, "Uh uh-oh, what's really going on? Let's go question that brother over there. Who's been putting that podcast show down? He's almost to 100 episodes, if not more than a couple episodes, because I haven't even put out a few episodes. These newer episodes I put out recently are about to put out. I record it. But on that note, <laughs> welcome to You Are The Gym podcast show with your host at the most, Haru, the modern monk. Your cannabis fitness strategist back at it again with them teas. I got them teas. I'm telling you, I got some more masks I got left. I want to get rid of the mask because I don't think I want to print up no more masks. I don't want to be contributing anymore to this COVID-19 or the coronavirus. I want to contribute more positive upbringing, influencing, adding more love to the universe. Even though the love love has unlimited, uni- the universe have love unlimitedly. <laughs> but y'all ain't feeling me. You are the gym at gmail.com. You are the gym live.com. The new website. Working on that as well. I know I've been putting it off, been putting it off, but tune in, tune up. We're here. Are you afraid of change? Are you actually looking change in the eye? 
you know, change is every day. Every day. You may resemble some things that uh, you go through emotionally, physically, spiritually, right? Change is always happening. It could be for the good, it could be for the bad. But what have you learned from the event? See, we go through these events daily. I'm going through this serious event right now. Frustrated. I use that term. <laughs> Frustrated. <laughs> And I'm pretty positive, brother. Keep it real with you. I'm very positive. Even when I'm frustrated, I just get to hold of some uh, some weights or uh, some tennis shoes, and I just run, <laughs> running out of a brother. You know, that's better than um, putting it out there. Or even some cases, I might even write. Huh? Are you saying all? No, no. We we getting it. We getting it. Welcome back. Oh, yeah. KT, hey. welcome back. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Talk to him. What are you you afraid of change? What are some of the things you've been um, approached with within your particular lifetime? Yeah, I mean, I'm just kind of throwing something out there. But some of the change. Talk about some of the changes that kind of made you get the aha moment. Cause see, that's uh, the key thing. Cause uh, a lot of us, I don't think we yeah. face it. We don't want to face it. Well, it's like you know, I mean. Given the state of the world today, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I did my change. I realized, like me, I'm, I'm kind of a little weary of change, but I did my thing. I had to because I, I saw where it was going. I had to uh, readjust myself and prepare and be there right when it happens and be, you know, be ready so you're ready for that opportunity that might arise. And uh, that's what we're doing now. We're just setting things up for the next... To get to the next level. The season. The season. You know what I'm saying? We know the seasons are coming. Okay, we know there's going to be a winter again when it leaves. A summer again when it leaves. Fall and spring, so forth. So, we just plan and prepare. Yeah, and another thing too. Prepare even with... Mm -hmm. Here's here's for you, you parents out there. Something to think about. Look, your children grows. <laughs> They they prosper. They 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 learn. They they metamorphosize. You feel what I'm saying? So what are you doing to basically not saying shelter them, but set something up for them to take on? You know, take on from where you left off. You know what I'm saying? This is the whole point about legacy. That's what change is really about. It's about legacy. You know what I'm saying? You. This is just my interpretation, but I'm just kind of sharing this. I'm like, what do you, when you die, what do you want people to say about you? Or how are you living? Do, you know what I'm saying? As you're dead, how are you living? That's the beauty of the recorded voice. That's the beauty of the written word. That's the beauty of establishing it within your legacy. Right, right. You feel me? Yeah, because I, I, I mean, I, legacy, I look at just me just being able to, at the end, be able to give inheritance to my children and, love, you know, just to give them something, leave them, have them have something, whether it's, you know, money, uh, certain, certain family heirlooms, certain artifacts I want them to have, certain things that their dad had, I want them to cherish, stuff like that, or. But it's just, really, for me, it's just give, leaving behind an inheritance for my children. And what, the, what you kind of have an idea what type of inheritance? Some like some, some assets, assets some, some give, real... Yeah, give them some money and some land. Yeah, yeah, some real assets. You know, really, some true assets that you can yeah. kind of, not just the, the so, information, as the brothers would say. I mean, some where they can, like, I want to give them some money and some land, some they can spend... And then the land they can take if they have to, and they if there's a need they can cash out, or build mm -hmm. on it, or mm -hmm. do whatever they mm -hmm. can do something with it. You know that's yeah. the main thing. Like the rings, yeah, the rings. That's what uh, Garrett Gunderson talked about. His rings. They they actually came up with a a uh, 
a document and everything, family document, far as what goes down and whatnot. It's it's pretty cool. The legacy and it's just building a leg, and that's what time it is. I think, I mean, even with the 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 change and all these different changes that's going on with us too, because mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, you know, a lot of the states are actually being more expensive even the ones that's cheaper they're they're still expensive mm -hmm. i mean when you're talking like minimum wage people working minimum wage and this and that but see that's yeah. the point too i think what the covid has done is like kind of show people look you can make money you know yeah. what i'm saying you yeah. can make money you can make money you know what i'm home. saying yeah you can make money and it's you can do it yeah and it's just gonna be harder work yeah no doubt and it's gonna be that you have to adjust your lifestyle too that's another exactly. thing too you gotta adjust your lifestyle to go get it go get, go get the, this money go or go get go yeah. get that go you get survive. that next, Shoot, you, you know go out there if you want to survive but even even on that term like not even surviving. You want to live life. That's the key thing with me. I want to live life. I want to travel. I want to travel wherever I want to go. I'm, I'm not no crazy. I'm not into that crazy trying to change the culture and all that other stuff. I want to go see what the culture is about. Learn the culture. Yeah, Regardless the culture. of what it is. Germany, whatever. I'm down with all kinds of crazy areas or... <laughs> Hey, I'm just different down, yeah, work yeah just the me, yeah just, just the work and experience experience and then you can kind of navigate you wonder why Elon Musk this dude's been all around the world you know he coming off with these amazing ideas even though the ideas is not his he's just having people around him what's sparking different ideas and concepts the think tank mentality you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what we're missing. A lot of us are missing our team or our certain thinkers where we can go and tap into each other and challenge each other. So have you thought about this? Have you thought about adding this to it or bringing it down on this level or bringing it up here or adding more and more energy <laughs> to the higher frequencies? No, I'm serious, brother. Because we, we have forgotten even like being able to inspire people. You know what I'm saying? To just yeah. be able to inspire people. Bro, look, we're going to go over and get this and do this. And we're going to make this happen over here. But at the same time, have a sense of humor. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Have a sense of humor where we can take it to the next level. Enjoy our lives. Not be caught up in entertainment all the time. That's another thing I think we need to balance. We need to balance entertainment and real life. <laughs> yeah. Literally, in real life. Cause we unplug. Get, yeah, exactly. Cause we definitely, we Don't definitely get into some. Uh, unplug. Yes, yes, yeah. You said that on last episode too, uh, eighty nine. Uh, but yeah, we definitely, we definitely need to take some time to unplug. And and I think the change wouldn't be so bad. Kind of like the situation with people, because I know people are afraid. We're no. we got a lot of fear. We got a I, lot of fear. Okay, when they did the COVID, I noticed a lot of people was able to get off the, 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 the train for a minute. They was able to stop, get off the train because they had to shut down mm -hmm. and lock down. They were able to get out of that cycle that they was in, that the system that had them in. That the, cycle, yeah, that yeah. The, whole, the whole world was in the system and everybody stopped for a moment. And everybody was able to kind of feel a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. for a moment, okay? And then everything started kind of trying to get itself back to normal. But the reality is this. The way things were before this whole pandemic thing hit ain't going to be the same. Nope. No matter how bad everybody wants. It will kind of be like that, but it's going to be different. Oh, and see, here's our lesson anyway. If we haven't learned nothing from 2001, 9-11, we, we have some problems. I've been saying this on a, a lot of these pa podcast shows. And it's like, how come we're not learning from our past fuck-ups? Why are we not paying no attention to what we did back then? Even though we can't, we can learn from the past, we can learn from the present. We can learn from the now. You feel me? How we navigate, what we do, how we think. Are we going to think deeper? Are we going to start channeling people who are actually on the frequency or who want to be on that frequency to come up there with you? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Bind okay, up. I'm tired of this bullshit. Let's go do something about it. 
Not I'm not saying that you got to be marching on some bullshit. How about marching to the marching to the bank and saying, okay, well we're not gonna bank with you no more. Yeah, that's safe. you feel me. You're free to do what you want with your money. You know, let's let's agree on bitcoins. Fuck all this currency. Yeah. Let's go on bitcoin. You feel me? Let's let's start doing some things where we gotta start taking more responsibility, taking more accountability, taking more control of our own destinies. Yes, Destiny. because because the people. I am Sparta. Oh, I'm sorry. I scared folks no, up in here. Let's huh? Go ahead. You feel me? No, but think about that. I you start taking control of your own life. The people have to take control of the money again. We have again. to. We have to. Now, the, I'm just saying like a march or anything, but what I'm saying is because you know that all the governments worldwide have a, a problem with corruption. Indeed, indeed. To a certain level with your money. Mm -hmm. And then they want to tax you for money, money, so they can screw off of it. How oh. about you, the people... <laughs> Take your money and invest it in your own self, and then you can have your own money. Exactly. And then the government can have their little bit of money, but you your money is bigger it. than the government, so then you can run the government. Yes, and you can. You are the government. You that's, are, yeah. that's what government... That's what go look it up. Go look it up in that Black mm -hmm. Laws Dictionary. You can run the ruling power. Become the ruling mm -hmm. power. You know, and it's all about how you act or how you... Uh, set yourself up that's another thing people ask me why i don't vote i'm telling you guys why i don't vote you can listen to all my podcast shows and it's telling you why i don't vote it's right in your face that's the crazy thing the crookedness is right in your in, in your plain face. sight like the brother said it's in plain sight and we fail to realize it because we so fucked up on on all this uh processed food I mean, all this crazy shit. Even our water is so fucking tainted. Yeah. It's crazy, man. And and then we're wondering, think about this. 35 years ago, we wasn't drinking in no bottled water. Yeah, we yeah. was drinking in tap. We was coming from the tap. From the sink. You feel me? Sink water. See, we coming from that generation, so we know what's up. I had to know a number. 456, 4546. <laughs> yeah. Easiest number in the house. My grandma's number. You feel me? All them numbers. You knew oh, numbers you back four, five, in the six, five, Yeah, four. four five four six. Oh, we had four five six five four eight six. <laughs> Come on. Wow, that's crazy. Come on. Now think about it. It's 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 crazy because we don't we don't we don't think <laughs> anymore. That's the thing. We don't even think anymore. Do you even, here's a question for all you parents. Do you even think for your children when you respond to what they ask you about? Or you just go it just go off impulse? Think about it. Think about it. You just go off impulse. Nah, boy, you ain't gonna be doing none of that. <laughs> or whatever. It's one or the other. It's one of the extremes. But I don't think we really think about even the outcomes of their outcome. You feel me? Choices. Yes. Yeah. Yes. People don't even understand that. That's why it's crazy when you, it's crazy when you, this is what I think where, where, why people got to really test themselves in the earlier years, go through the shit, go through, you know, go through the, but be, be a wise woman, be a wise man and ask, ask a brother, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Ask for guidance. What happened to the mentors? That's why I was wanting to get with the coach. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Get with coach. Just talk about some things back in the day. Because I learned so many principles just from our experiences. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's the lesson I got out of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or whatever the case may be. Yeah. Or like yeah. I was sharing with you the other day. Whatever, about the whatever he was teaching, it it, it, it it served me. It definitely impressed me. Because, I mean, you take that everywhere you go. And, you know. And it's that's like you what you use that experience and that experience from whatever Sam was doing, Coach Sam was doing, it always comes in. And that core value, and it obviously built that core value. And the key thing, the value I think is discipline. We was talking about this today, me and Dr. Boz Moreno. Discipline. Out of everything in the world, if you don't get anything in this world or in this show right now, I want you to get discipline. Start mastering your discipline. Start mastering you. 
I master me. Let me master me. If I'm mastered up, I'm good. I'm secure. I don't have to be the the I don't have to beat the coldest, you know, martial artist in the world. Long as I master me. That's all that you matters, feel me? Man. That's the key. Yeah. That's what all Marcus Aurelius and yeah. all these other brothers was talking That's about it. when you look at stoicism. Yeah. Master yourself. Master yourself. Master, know thyself. Come on, all yeah. these sins. Everybody, Impotep. Come on. All this stuff was there. It's not to go out to conquer others. It's to conquer yourself. Conquer yourself. Everything else falls in place. Yeah. You know? Everything else falls in place. You are... What they say? You have the power. I have the come power. Come on. Come on. My favorite cartoon right there. As he said it every time he wanted to get busy. Exactly. I'll be with you guys in a minute. Yeah. And then he pulled that sword out and said, By the power of grace, go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> and, then, and, you seen, and you seen all the glow, like like on uh, The Last Dragon. All the cheat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's all uh, The Last Dragon was, was the glow. He had the yeah, full he had the glow. glow. He had the chi. Yeah, he, he was had, always the master. Exactly. But he didn't understand what the master meant. It was a trick. Come on. Now, just, it wasn't a trick. It was a riddle for him to find himself. Yes. Yes. Like every movie. Kind of like Matrix. Neo. I am. Mm -hmm. I am that I am. Said Sam I am. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's why it's like you are. Exactly. The GM. Exactly. Come on. Come on. And that's the, that. like I said, but people are afraid of change, brother. Yeah, they are afraid of, you afraid of change. I know you're afraid of change. Because you don't speak up when the time to be speaking, to be spoken, you don't speak up. You just sit there and watch. You know that? You got the watchers, you got the doers, and you got the in-betweeners. <laughs> Right? Yeah, people who want to take action. Yes, come on. Break it down, Mr. Uh, Stephen Covey. And then you got people who don't <laughs> want, to want to take action. But you must take action in come this on. time in some form or fashion in your life. Yeah, because there's going to be a lot okay. of folks dying. Okay. There's going to be a lot of folks dying. Just like all the past stories you have heard from your Bible to your Quran to your Torah to your Gita... Everybody going to be dying. It's going to be a majority of the people is going to die. It's just about how you adjust. Only the strong will survive, as Darwin would say. Yes. And that's what he meant. Mm -hmm. Who adjust with the who adjust with the, the formation. I'm not saying go out and get all this no. bullshit vaccine and all this other crazy shit. Oh, give it to me. Give it to me. Then you got brothers turning into lizards and animal yeah. species. And we and it's funny, too. This is funny. Because you got people looking like animal species and all this other crazy shit, right? Or foreigner area, you know, kind of crazy looking people. But we glorify this shit. Oh, they're equal. They can do a push-up just like you. Oh, sir, now we're getting a little crazy here. So that's what I'm talking This society, that's what I'm saying. We got a problem because we're, no. we, we, we're accepting all this shit. Oh, because you're this, this different. I want to I wanna make sure I cater to you. Make sure we buy the policies, buy the, by, what do you say, by the bars invested in me. People, yeah. <laughs> you know, people need to understand. Just go listen to like Ricky Nelson Garden Party. Yeah, all right? Yeah. Can't please everyone, so you just got to please yourself, okay? He went to the garden party, all right? <laughs> it's like, man, geez, these people, everybody's so bent out of shape about trying to respect everybody's and little, that's the problem. little space. But yeah. a lot of the stuff, people, let's be real, it's bullshit, okay? Yes, most of it is. It is. Most just, of it is. A, a lot of it is. They're not. They're doing. They're being overly complex. Yeah, and that, that's another okay? good good point. Great overly point. complex. Point. Like, point. can you be a little simple now? I mean, we got other shit that going on here. I don't have time for all your complexities. Okay, let's just come on, man. Yeah. I mean, and you, I can understand like some people really want to be respected, but those people also need to be understand. Be like, okay, I don't need to be so over the top. And, and I can yeah. be more simple. Indeed. More indeed. humble. Yes. Okay. More. More. More more cool about it, more chilled out about it, okay? We're living in a day and age where there's a lot of shit going on, a lot of people on edge. <laughs> plenty okay? of that, plenty of we that. We don't need, you know, nonsense, 
right now. There's a lot. There's enough nonsense. Yeah, there's plenty of that. There's we don't need more comp- yeah, more nonsense. people just saying, "Hey, I got you know." And it's like, okay, now we gotta we gotta stop the. We gotta stop what we're doing and and give you your fifteen minutes right now. Jeez, man. Exactly. Greedy exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. Now. Yeah. It's crazy. Right? It's crazy. Why don't you you know you know that you're difficult. Respect, <laughs> we respect that. Okay. Respect your own self. Know that you're difficult. Okay. Then go chill out somewhere, bro. Yeah. Go take okay. Take a chill pill, dude. Take a chill pill. <laughs> Relax, lady. Relax, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Calm down. All right. We got you know. We have other problems. We got old folks dying here real right now. Okay? Problems, real okay, problems. Okay, we got other problems in the country. Yeah, real we got problems. weird shit going on. Okay, we yeah. got fucked up government and all this other shit going on. <laughs> and I ain't got time for the complex bullshit you want to come out with because you want to be special right now in this moment. It reminds me of the Instagram, uh, all the different people putting out these workouts. And that, yeah. A lot, of, a lot of it's just bullshit. But that's right. There you, yeah. If you really need to yeah. be special... Get yourself your own Instagram, Facebook, <laughs> YouTube page, and start pushing your stuff, yeah, okay? Yeah. Other than that, shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear it on TV anymore. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, go, go, go to the, go to the internet and express yourself. Shit, I'm tired, <laughs> motherfucker. I mean, yeah, geez, it's man. it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. And it's like nobody can't say nothing to nobody. Anybody can't have a comment if they don't like your stuff. Yeah, it's crazy. And you, you put know? your shit out there, like me. I put my stuff out here. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I put, I'm out there. So if you give me give me what you got, say what you want. I'm not tripping. I don't buy into the bullshit anyway. Yeah. That's one thing y'all can say about me. I'm not I'm not trying to be here because I want the fame and fortune. I want the fortune. Don't take yeah. me wrong. I don't want the fame. I don't care about the fame. I don't read my tabloids. I'm not egotistical. You know what I'm saying? But one of the things is I want to influence you. I want to inspire you to get your shit up, get your game up, get your money up, get your get your weight up, get your get your game up, get your bench press up, get your cardio up, get your bang bangs up. You feel me? That's what I want to see. And I want to see more of us coming together on some real shit. Look. We're influencing. I we just we just went over to. I just went out to Colorado, went down there. We had this event. This event did such and such. It built these people. We got this going on. Look how much we raised for these people. Look what kind of change we did over here at this neighborhood. You see what I'm saying? That's the thing I don't see going on. And then we're wondering why our neighborhoods are fucking off. Yeah. Popo, the popo living over there now. He done put an office and everything up in your neighborhood. Just ruining the neighborhood. Yeah. Because yeah. nobody want to see, nobody want to be no checks and balances like they was in the 80s. And <laughs> <laughs> some no. neighborhoods. Community action. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But see, it's about us taking more responsibility. But I know you're afraid of change. That's all. You're afraid of change. Yes, I am. But it, it must be done. <laughs> It must be done. It must be done now, as and your boy there was saying. You just said, "Have no fear. Be fearless." But why they 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 taking my house and they doing this? So look, this is a thing. I think start taking when you when you start taking more authority in your life, waking up, getting your read on, start taking care of your life, getting up, getting your deep breathe on, getting up. Getting your meditation on, getting up, getting your workout in, getting up, getting you some reading in, getting you up, getting some audio in, getting up, learn a new new word or add add some new soft skill in your game. I'm telling you, you would feel more valuable, worth. You feel more worth. That's the thing, especially when you have like associates calling. They're like, man, we missing you. You know what I'm saying? That type of stuff. Not even on that level, but just within the energy you bring for people. You know what I'm saying? The energy you bring for people. Yeah, the drive. Yeah, because people like, damn, I need to get my game up. They need to feed off that. Exactly. Here he is. Give me some of that Because we're that that type of species anyway. We we feed off each other. That's why the COVID 
shut a lot of that energy down. Don't take me wrong. You have people like self motivated. Yeah, like you myself. gotta use that focus. Like you gotta exactly. come in there with that mind, that that mindset that, like when you like go somewhere, you gotta put it on. Like, like I wear all black and I put it on. And I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm powerful. A I'm a Jedi. I'm a raider. Yeah. I'm a Jedi Knight. Yes. That's how you gotta yeah. think. That's how you yeah. gotta think. Cause I mean, even like when I go into competition, it's like it's already a done deal. I'm already putting my mind in a mm -hmm. particular mode. Even even when I play chess, you know what I'm saying. I've been playing chess recently on the the computer game, but your mind goes into a competitive mindset where it takes it to the next level. Tune in, cause I'll be writing uh, my new book coming out, Confessions of the Mind of an Athlete: Overcome Overcoming Resilience. Um, Definitely something I think people can really start relating to, especially the principles that I'm basing it on, um, and overcoming, overcoming issues that are like really simple issues, but we make them complicated. Yeah. As human beings, we make things complicated. Yeah, and, you, know? you know, and and don't and and, and like change could be thinking that's thinking something in a different term. Yes, different way of thinking about something. Approach. Okay, yeah, different, different approach approaches of problems in your life. Maybe you're you're trying to do something, it's not working. So think about it in a different way, a different way. Especially right now, with all this change going on, change it up. Maybe that might work for you. Yeah. No. Great point. Great point. And and that's, I think. Who? I mean, see, and that's where that support system or that network system come in too, because you want people, or I think you need people. To actually deliver, because I know a lot of in the, especially in the black community, a lot of us we think we can do it on our own, right? I, yeah. I think that's something that's been a common, because yeah. it's like, man, these brothers ain't gonna listen to me, or these brothers ain't gonna come together and we can do this and do that, because all the stigmas we've been having out there, I think, the stigmas and everything that's been out there shooting out there, you know. I think it's coming together for money. Yeah. Especially I mean, now in today's, especially now. yeah, t in today's mm -hmm. fear. But I like I said, we got to become more self-sustained. Yeah, we got to come more self-sustained, growing our own food. Yes, you know, grow your own uh, food. Get off this electric system. You know, start getting back our own because this government, like I said, the government, they 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 enable you. They did well. They disable you. They disable you. Period. Pretty much. It's kind of like parents. You you know how some parents can disable their children too as well. And it's the same mannerism, it's the same values, it's the same situation. They handicap you, they tell you, okay, you're retirement, you're retired. This is how much you're making in retirement. And it's not even enough to even keep you alive. <laughs> it's, it's pretty crazy. That's amazing. And you paid all that money. Think about it. You paid all that money into that fund. And they're giving you only $1,000 back? All them years, think about it. Twenty years, thirty oh, years. Man, I'm not. You don't put in oh, the, to the in the system. Oh yeah, I don't. That's even care. crazy. That's my fault for even letting it get to that level. <laughs> so I'm just Good like point. I'm. I'm done with them. Good that's point. just Good that's point. just that's the first time ever. And the reason why I did is once again, I for mentally I allowed this stuff to like fester into what it did, and it created this nonsense. So <laughs> I I changed the thinking on it, and it will be soon going away. Okay, because sometimes you can create a problem. Oh, big like, time! Like big that time. movie, The Spear. You can create your own fear, uh -huh. and then the fear comes in, and you be like, "Oh, she's," and it might not get you. It might get your friend or something or somebody, because that's what was happening yeah, in that yeah. movie. They wasn't. Yeah. They created something. The thing was killing somebody else. Wasn't killing their ass. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but I'm just irrationally, but for real, you can create your own something you know ominous almost in a way and but you can also not create the ominous in a way you can create the change but the, what what happened was i just had this i kept thinking money 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 right because i got a money issue just money 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 and more issues started to happen <laughs> okay <laughs> so in the last like since you've been here i was like man stop thinking about money so much stop thinking about and Everything else, different shit's Falling, been happening. Yeah. yeah. Falling so. in place. Yeah, that's why I haven't, that's why I was telling you about er, earlier, like, just go to the spot. I've been, I've been able to go to, I mean, I've been very thankful. I'm grateful. 
I'm not going to say I'm blessed because I don't like using that term. But my point is, you know, I, I, I look at things positive. Okay, how can I get it, you know, the energy? How can I learn from this experience? That's basically what it comes down to. And I think doors open when you really, because I, I, I've been tend to do that, but I mind my money now. You know what I'm saying? I'm minding my money. I'm, I'm kind of like the Bitcoin, the the uh, the blockchain. You're minding your coins. You know, so you you're starting to invest in you. You're starting to invest. Okay, these dollars. This is what I'm allocated for this. This is what is allocated for that. Yes. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm not gonna even touch this. I gotta keep it going. Boom, boom, boom. Whatever the guard, whatever I gotta do, I gotta get this. Boom, boom, boom. But at the same time, just taking the steps, the necessary steps, the necessary sacrifices. Yeah key word sacrifices because a lot of people don't know i'm i mean i'm doing something i i don't i want to do it because it's in my heart but then at the same time it's like what if <laughs> why why but i mean life got to go on life got to move life got to keep going you just got to look at it on a positive level everything on a positive level you know if you can but we put ourselves in certain situations too. Don't take me wrong, last minute aha moments, but that's when you gotta start getting ready for that change or recognizing the change or stop being afraid of the change. You got something else you wanna kinda get off on your head or before we end this? Oh no. Just uh you know take care of people, remember change is okay, you know? Yeah. It's yes. not the worst thing in the world. Some, you know, it might be good for you, especially if you're in a bad spot. You know, if you're in a great spot, I can understand how you don't want stuff to change. But if, you know, that's the great thing about time. Time works against those who are in great, good, and those who are in bad. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? If you're bad, you can get good. If you're good, you, who knows? Yeah, you have an opportunity. The yin and the yeah, yang, exactly. Baby. You the have negative and the positive. Yeah. Cold T. I feel you. For All sure. Right. Yeah, so until next time, we'll see you in the next episode, uh, 91. we definitely keeping it moving. Uh, you're afraid of change, but at the same time, like I said, just reflect back on this uh, recording. Check it out. And if you haven't subscribed, you haven't told your mama, your daddy, your grandma, your grandpa, your brothers and friends and family and fellow foes, I'm, I'm going to take out this can of whoop ass. You know that, right? Because you shouldn't have been listening to my website. My websites, my emails, my usually, my usually calls, my Facebooks, even my MySpace. Don't you got my MySpace too? I'm clowning. Much love. Y'all have a great one. Stay strong. I'm out. Peace. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message.